Hello everyone, welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again and this is Fahad Hussain. In this video, I shall explain some mathematical problem solving technique in physics because in earlier classes I already explained the laws of falling bodies by Galileo Galilei. So if you see that video or all you studying this chapter and to try to understand how to solve some sort of calculations of mathematical problems in case of this falling and throwing bodies, this is the first lecture for you. So in case of falling bodies and in case of throwing bodies, we need to consider one thing that what we did actually in case of vertical distance or displacement we we consider s as it is a displacement but in case of vertical displacement we will consider as h so instead of s in case of falling bodies and throwing bodies it would be h and when we consider this as an accelerations to the ground in this horizontal level we consider upwards is g as a is accelerations and g is acceleration due to gravity so here gravity is important because falling and throwing bodies in case of these gravity is an important issue to consider and for that reason when in horizontal movement we consider as a as acceleration as the change of rate of velocity in case of vertical distance in case of throwing bodies or in case of falling bodies g would be considered and most importantly in case of throwing bodies it would be minus and in case of falling bodies it would be plus this is very important and here i mean here in this case h will be the replacement of s in case of falling and throwing bodies so when you will continue some sort of mathematical problem solving technique you need to consider this principle and this principle which is considered as falling body and throwing body so the falling bodies in case of that g would be plus so as we started earlier in case of law of motion that uh, v equal u plus a t here it would be g t we started s equal to ut plus half at square here it would be h equal to ut plus half gt square and v square equal u square plus 2 gh instead of a s so we will consider g instead of a and h instead of s in case of falling and throwing bodies throwing bodies it would be negative g would be negative so we will put minus instead of the value of g so when we will study about this mathematics we must consider these things so right now if we see the questions what is written here that our body is dropped so it's dropped dropped means it will be dropped from some height so it's written that the roof of a building of 60 meter high so here is written uh, data which is 60 meter high with what velocity will it strike the surface of the earth so the asking question is about velocity and h is given because height is given so if we consider there is a roof and this is the ground or surface of the earth then what will happen there is a body that will be dropped from here in which velocity so v the final velocity was asked and we know that on the top of the roof that on the roof of the edge is that the u would be zero as because u is the initial velocity so initial velocity would be zero and the final velocity was asked in the question so only meter 60 meter height is given so as we know that in my questions there is a given that u the initial velocity is 0 meter per second and h is given 60 meter so v was asked so there is no data on time and no time was asked so in which principle should i go I should go on that at that equations where t is not present so v square equal u square plus 2g h is 
the equations to do the problem. So here I can say that v square equal u square plus 2gh. So v was asking questions. So here is written v. So I can say that v is a root over u square plus 2gh. So we can say that u is 0. So ultimately it's 0. So root 2 into 9.8 into 60. So the root would be what would be the thing actually 60 uh, 34.29 so it would be 34.29 meter per second so this is the answer this is a very easy question but the thing is you need to consider which equation based on the given data of your question paper so what is given we need to understand what is the insight of the question? What is the in-depth understanding of the question? Because there is nothing written about u would be zero. But how we think that u would be zero? As we know that when the object was in roof of the uh, floor, I mean the roof of the building, then from that height it was dropped. So at the beginning of the time, it's falling time, the u was zero. So from zero it was dropped to the earth with this velocity 34.29 meter per second so this is the answer so if this is the answer so the second question is a bit a different but it's so easy i think from from your side because uh, you are genius students and those are studying physics you must know that in case of understanding physics we need to visualize the scenario the given data and what is applicable on that the, on that data so uh, if we want to find out uh, the things that were asked for then we need to consider the which data should be used to understand which equation so here is given the body is thrown so it's written something is thrown vertically so it means this is throwing bodies so the first clue is it is thrown so g would be minus so thrown vertically with a velocity of 120 km per hour so it means that the starting velocity when it was thrown to the upwards vertically then u is this is the u actually this is the initial velocity and most importantly kilometer per hour is given when kilometer per hour will be given we must convert it into meter per second by dividing it 3.6 only so that would be my data so kilometer per hour what is the height of the highest point again there is a point to understand that in the highest point when it will reach to the highest point from the throwing part then the highest point the final velocity would be zero because it will come to the highest point and then it will go backwards but when it comes to the highest point the final velocity of the object from the throwing point v would be zero so when it say the highest point, we must consider V is zero. And then the question is, what is the height? So the height, that means H was asked, V is zero. And then the question is, how long will it take into to reach there? So how long means T was asked. So I have the data, 120 km per hour. This data is about U, okay? So if U is given, H was asked, V I know that it will be zero from the data, from the concept, from the highest point that we know that in the highest point the final velocity will be zero. How long will it take to reach there? Then we need to understand that what to do. So you see that U is given 120 km per hour. We need to convert it into meter per second. So if we consider 120 to we need to divide it by 3.6 so if I go with my mobile uh, with a calculator that one, 120 divided by 3.6 it's 3.33 sorry 33.33 so it would be 33.33 meter per second and then what's given age was asked V is 0 and t was asked so what 
equation I can use as it is throwing bodies, we must use this. And for, for the first time, there is T was asked in the last part of the question, so we can use that V square equal U square minus 2GH. So H was asked, so 2GH should be here, then it would be U square minus V square. And then H is U square minus V square by 2G. So if this is the equation, U is 33.33 square minus 0 square by 2 into 9.8. So if I square it, uh, 33 square, wait. So I need to cancel 33.33 uh, square is uh, divided by 19.6 which is 56.67 meter. So answer is 56.67 meters. This is the answer. I just calculated very simple but where we need to consider these equations because there is no t is given. So right now I know h that this is the maximum height and again t was asked so we can use another principle is v equal u minus gt as because this is the throwing bodies. So that is why we need to consider minus. So we were asked to find out t so it would be u minus v by g t equal to u minus v by g so again u is 33.33 minus 0 over 9.8 so 33 33.33 divided by 9.8 is 3.40 second so the answer is 3.40 second so this is very easy I think and those who are right now studying these uh, this type of questions is the very primary level uh, physics data and uh, problem solving on example so when you will studying more critical thing you must consider the falling bodies and the throwing bodies idea so if there is a falling bodies the G would be positive and in case of throwing bodies G would be negative and based on that we can solve this problem Furthermore, so see you in next class and of course do let me know your recommendations and feedback and what is your demand on your uh, next level study. So take care, stay well, stay blessed. Bye.